The trailer for the next episode of From has just been released, and it looks like it's gonna be an episode where we might actually get some answers. Yeah, I know. It seems like Jasper is gonna be found by Victor and Henry, who's gonna get dragged into the tunnels after only being there for a couple of days. Plus, it also looks like Fatima is gonna be able to get a peek at what it is that's exactly going on inside of her, and if all is as it should be. With there being multiple stories as well, such as Randall's recovery and Tabitha seeing something strange in her home, I thought I'd give my theories and predictions on the next episode based on what appeared in the trailer. So, let's get into it. Here is From Season 3, Episode 6, Trailer Explained and The Theories. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. So the trailer for the next episode opened up with Victor and Henry by one of the tunnels. It seems like Sarah has been pushed to the side, and in the context of the story, I think it makes sense. The whole journey that Victor is going on to find Jasper is because he wants to know what happened on that fateful night that his mother and sister ended up being killed, along with the entirety of the town where Victor was just tucked away in the cellar. It's something that's been plaguing Victor's mind for a while now, and it only seems right for his father to be alongside him when he finds Jasper and hopes to hear the story. This would not only provide closure for Victor and also an insight into what could potentially be on the horizon for the town, but it would also provide a sense of closure to Henry, who only up until the other day had no idea what happened to his family. So I think it's good that he's going to be there. I just feel bad for him at his age being dragged into that level of darkness after not being in the town for that long at all. It's a baptism with fire for sure. The next part of the trailer was then focused on Fatima and Ellis, as Boyd said to them that Christy had access to an ultrasound machine, as there was one that was on the ambulance that Tabitha returned in. At the end of the previous episode, Fatima said to Ellis that she felt as though there was something wrong with the baby because she wasn't able to keep any of her food down other than the rotten crops. This was as she was almost caught eating them from the bucket. Within the trailer, we saw that Fatima was being examined by Christy, and this is genuinely going to go one of two ways. The first is that it's going to show that she has a baby and it's healthy and fine. This would mean that the issue that she's facing at the moment and why she feels so different is going to be because of her, rather than because she's pregnant. Something which I think could tie into the fact that she's turning into one of those creatures. We know that they used to be human before they turned, so what's to say that they didn't experience what Fatima did? Or the second option is that it's going to show that when she takes a look inside, it's not going to resemble what a usual baby would look like at that stage on an ultrasound. This would then confirm to us that the baby inside of her is what's causing her to act like that. This could mean that she's got a creature inside of her. I think it could be similar to the story and movie Rosemary's Baby, where the main character in that was essentially carrying a demonic being. I wonder if the creatures already know what Fatima's carrying, and then once the baby's born, they'll come and take it. Could that be where they come from and how they ultimately end up with more? It would be a dark twist, and I'd be intrigued to see that. Judging by the faces that everybody in the room seemed to be pulling after looking at the monitor, it seems like it could potentially be the latter option as they all appear to be in shock. Within the synopsis for the episode, it says Fatima and Ellis make a big decision about her pregnancy. So I wonder if whatever they see on the screen, it could make them question what it is that she's got inside of her. The next part of the trailer was then focused around Jade being in the forest and looking up at the bottle tree with the slips of paper with the numbers inside of them. The barman said the line, you really think this is going to tell you anything? To which Jade responded and said, I don't think anything is here by accident. And then Jade was told by the person to sober up. Following what happened to Dale, we saw that he ended up in the concrete walls of the pool. Something that none of us expected to happen. There's some theories floating around about the numbers in the bottles on the tree. And one of those theories could tie into why it was that Dale ended up like that. This theory essentially states that the numbers that are within the bottles essentially piece together and act as a part of a wider map. Because Tabitha and Jade had taken down many of the bottles and took out some of the slips of paper, it essentially caused the tree to no longer direct Dale towards the lighthouse, which is where he could have found a way out. So instead, because there were bottles and numbers missing, it essentially threw it off kilter and led him to end up inside of the walls of the pool. It's a theory that I do think is plausible for certain, as we don't truly know what the numbers mean yet, so I think that could well be a possibility. They could be individual parts of a puzzle, and if one is removed or changed, then it doesn't work as it should. Another theory on this is the fact that the slips of paper and the bottles could be dates, and the dates on them could reflect the year that somebody arrived in Fromsville, or it could be reflective of a time that somebody tried to escape through the tree. 
I kind of like the idea that if you take a bottle with a slip that you end up visiting that time period. However, I think the dates theory could be debunked because there's only four digits on a slip. And any month after October would need to have five digits, which we've not seen, so I don't think it would make sense. A sober Jade is one that's going to have to face the nightmare-inducing hallucinations that he sees, but it could allow him to see the pattern that he's so desperately looking for. The final section in the trailer was focused around Tabitha being inside of the house, and she said to Ethan, Is somebody upstairs? To which he responded by saying no. When Tabitha went upstairs, the door opened up in front of her before she said, Oh my god, and repeated the word no over and over again to stop Ethan from going upstairs. When looking at the strange occurrences that have been happening in the house, the main strange thing that's been happening is the voice that's been pretending to be Thomas on the phone. The phone that hasn't been plugged in. I wonder if when the door to the room opens, she's gonna see Thomas. The door opening insinuates that whatever is controlling it wants her to go inside. When Tabitha was downstairs, there was a thud noise that we heard in the trailer that came from upstairs. What if that is the thud of Thomas falling off of the changing station, which ultimately led to his death? It would be a dark image to show, but something that would definitely warrant Tabitha to react like that. Or it could simply be an image of somebody that's claiming to be Thomas in the present day, just like what we're hearing on the phone. Either way, I think this scene is going to be related to Thomas. Outside of the trailer, there are a few other things that I feel we're going to see happening in the next episode. For example, I think we're going to be following Randall's recovery and watching the divide slowly start to appear between Randall and Boyd. And also, the people within the town that were naturally questioning Boyd's leadership start to side with Randall. Randall blaming Boyd for what happened to him as the first thing that he did when he was brought inside the house showed to us the direction that he's going to be heading in and the levels of resentment that he's going to be holding. Within the synopsis for the episode, it says Randall opens up to Mariel about his fears. So unlike many other characters in the show, it feels like Randall is actually going to speak to somebody about what it is that he's been seeing and the hallucinations that he's had. The very thing that he felt was worse than death. This will probably be whilst she takes care of him as he's recovering. We know that there's also a lot going on with Julie at the moment. The fact that herself and Elgin got a camera in the most recent episode, I feel there's going to be a photo captured, and with that, something could appear behind her in the shot. Something which might give a clue as to why she's constantly hearing the screaming. Or Elgin might be able to capture the kimono woman on the camera. Finally, there's that whole thing that's going on in the forest and the different types of creatures that could be present there that Kenny's heard. Well, in the synopsis for episode 7, it says Jade follows a clue trail into the forest. So I wonder if Jade is actually going to be the person that ends up providing some clarity on what's going on in the depths of the forest. As you can see, there are so many different directions that the next episode could go in. But regardless of what direction it does end up going in, I'm hoping that we finally get some clarity to the many questions that we've all got. So, there you have it. From Season 3, Episode 6, Trailer Explained. If you want to see a breakdown of every episode from Season 3 so far, then click on the card in the top corner. There's a playlist there. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What do you think will happen next? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. As always, thanks for tuning into the video and I'll see you in the next one.